Sorry, yes. Yeah, sure. Judge, um, I'm here on Asus Figueroa. SIG. Is it on docket today? Yes. Okay. Judge, I'm approaching to see if uh, we can amend one of the bond conditions. He had Tell a me. driving uh, condition. He hasn't been driving at all. Uh, his mom has been uh, giving him a ride to work back and forth. And he also did complete a drug and alcohol driving awareness course right here. I have the certificate in hand. Uh, and he's present in the courtroom, Your Honor. He had alcohol in the car, right? Isn't that what it was? I think there was an allegation of... Your Honor, there was an allegation of 12 ounce Modelo in the center console. Uh, but you said we can reapproach after... Uh, yeah, I, I Mr. Figueroa, so. come up. <clears throat> Do you want to see this real quick? Sure. Yeah. Here, Yasha. Good job doing that. You know, we want you to realize that it's a privilege. It's not a right. And it's one that everybody takes. It's it's a big, it's just a no-no, you know? Yeah. And I, I hope that you get it. And that's why we do what we do so that you can realize when you're out there, you got to understand, you got to think before you act, think before you speak, because you may have, but, you know, good job getting it done, okay? Um, we'll do it. We'll allow them, okay? Just be careful, you know? That's all we're asking, okay? All right, Mr. Perla. Good job, man. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Josh. Okay. You ready? Yes, sir. So, Your Honor, I have here from the... Uh... Immigration portal. It's Show me. Come, yeah, come, come on. Up. The date's on the top, and it's just his A number with his name showing his uh, the master slash bond set for the Yep. Okay. Thanks. So you said the bond hearing is set. It's going to be on the 20th as well. Um, 20th of this month. Yes, sir. That is seven days. So it, that's next Wednesday. Yes, sir. Do you want to set it for the following week? Do you want to set it for the day after? The following week. Uh, from So from the 20th, if I get a week after that? If he bonds out of the immigration custody, he's got to be here. So we do bond conditions. Let him know that if he fails, he'll come. Then we will revoke his bond. But yeah. Whatever day you want the following week is okay. And then if for some reason they make it like a crazy bond, like because a lot of them I see like 15 grand. Correct. If you get it like that and it takes more time for the bond out, just let us know. And then, you know, yeah. So whatever day you want next week. Okay, think maybe. Or the, it's the following week. The following week. Would... Yeah, whatever day you want. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Cruise on the dock this morning. Okay. To point zero eight four. She had a FSGI that arose out of the same transaction, but they filed it in Montgomery County because the accident happened right on the border and then she drove into Harris County and stopped. Uh, it ended up in a PTI, but uh, I talked to Nathan Beadle, sent him a packet. He needs insurance information from her and confirmation that- Do you just want more time? Yeah. Whatever you need, of course. Just however much time. Thank yeah, you. of course. Okay. Mr. Evans. Good morning, Your Honor. Hey. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Well. So, Mr. Williams, he said that he was, he got kicked out of SOP. But then when he contacted SOP, they said he only owed money and they gave him a satisfactory. And that's what those two documents that I sent you. So I was hoping that that would be investigated in regard to Mr. Wheat. Because from what I had been told, he was doing well. He had no issues while on bond. But then when you were about to let him off the curfew, you said someone said he had got kicked out. So, so I... I Can I give you the cost number? This is the Mr. Williams, Taman Williams that we were talking about. So I've got counsel on the line now. Uh, did you send what you had, what you I have did to Shatoria? Yeah, I did. What's going on, and from what I understand, is that 
he didn't pay what he was supposed to on S on the SOP, and so they kicked him out. I know, and, and, and see this. Oh, I remember now. So what was happening? He was paying from his business account, and they were not giving him credit. So he had been paying. So when, once he showed them that this is the account the money was going for, because they had sometimes like I have that problem too. My clients pay me from a account that, and I don't know what name it is. So I see a Zelle or a Cash App, and I'm like, who sent this? Mm -hmm. That's what happened with them. So once he showed like this, this is my business account. They gave him credit, and he's fine. I don't see the book set right now, but I can call over to them. She, we don't see that. So I guess Shatori can call over to make sure to see if they have, if they've straightened it out. Okay. And what, um, what is, what is, what is uh, I'll send her. We're doing, we're doing this in an episode. She was not on the email. What is her email? It's, I'm going to, I'm going to chat it to you because I don't want to put it for everyone. Okay. 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 I'll send it. I'll send her what he sent me. It's it's dot dot your last name, right? C S C H C T X. Ah, it's the I'm sorry, it's that's it. Okay, that's it. Okay. I'll send it to you right now. Okay, it's it, it, it's it. So I only have this one. Crenshaw? Hmm? I, I know I already I ruled on some already and I, I gave them back I did yesterday like the other ones I, this is the only one that I've held because of Carl Let me just make sure so I'm not skipping that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did, okay. I did. Um, Judge, it was it was kicked back. Could, uh, could you confirm the email address one more time for me? Give me, give me a second. Oh, I see what's wrong. The O instead of the A. Okay. Uh, right, did you talk to your client Crenshaw about that um, surety? Okay, I've got them here now. What I did was I, and I think I told you that I got in contact with the lawyer. The lawyer was supposed to get in contact with the defendant, and the defendant was to get back with you guys to make sure that everything was, that you guys were happy. Did that happen? So the best did not right, double check right now. Is okay? Yeah, because um, Carl is telling me that Mr. Crenshaw reached out to you guys twice and left messages. Hi. I'm sorry. Yes, my name is Carl Pruitt. My name is Carl Pruitt. Pruitt. Uh, I spoke with Mr. Crenshaw, and he called your office on two different occasions. Message for 
Hold on. Oh, no. You know what, Carl? Let me yeah. let me hey, they stop, say, Carl. Uh, stop. Four seven five. <laughs> Carl, can you give me the number again, please? Okay. Uh huh. Is that, is this what you have? Yes, sir. That's the number that they have, and they have tried to reach out to him, and it's been to no avail. So I, I, I have him here now. If you want to try to have, reach out to your client to see, have him reach out to them now, you know, if you can. But I mean, I, I gave him time to do it. They haven't reached anything. And so if, if he hasn't squared it by the end of docket, I'm going to grant it. He needs to know, you know. They should know that they, they, he has returned their phone call. He has tried to reach them, and they have. Well, you're uh, going on what he said, right? So. Yes, sir. Because I am. Because. Uh, sure. You guys are still having issues by the end of the docket. I'll grant it, and that's, that's it. I'll yeah. Go ahead and give them the phone call. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, Carl. Thank you, Judge. Take Thank care. You, Judge. Bye. 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 Okay. Hey, ready? Yeah. Come on up. You're on uh, Mr. McCollum. Come up, Mr. McCollum. Okay, Felicia. Did you test him yesterday? Yes, he came back presumptively for THC. And then we also examined. What are the goals? Then we also examined his device. He was given a new device by our vendor, uh, and it seems as though our techs were having trouble charging the device as well. Hmm. Okay, so that's good as far as the device. What you're saying is right, but I don't like your, that you're testing positive for marijuana. It, Judge, what I will say is that it's it's been about 45 days since the inception of this case. What I if, what I would ask is if we could get a two week reset, see if the new monitor is doing what it should, test him again, see if he's clean. Okay, so in two weeks, if he tests and it's it's positive, then right. From there. Okay. All right. Don't use. I warned you at the outset of this case what you're responsible for, what you can and can't do. You're on notice. Do you understand? Sir. All right, so we'll do the two weeks. Okay, <laughs> Connor. Deferred plea on Mr. Vital. It's a probation plea. Uh, oh, you ready? Yes, sir. Can I call him up yet? Sure, please. Rafael. Uh, Vital, B I T A L. Whoa, 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 what do you mean he relapsed? Okay, let me let me finish with this real quick and then we'll... All right, Mr. Vital, you're charged with racing on a highway. You're facing up to six. You're facing up to six months in jail and or a two thousand dollar fine. You guys have worked that in agreement. They're offering you a nine month deferred. Do you know what this is? What is this? What is a deferred? by entering into this agreement. And if you fail to live up to your side of the agreement, we will issue a warrant for your arrest, put you in custody, and you're looking at up to 180 days. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Not only that, you need to also understand this is your second racing case now. 
It's just a matter of time that you pick up another one, do something dangerous, they may very well seize and take that car from you permanently. I can't tell you how many cars I've had in here where they've taken it, a $50,000 car, seized, gone forever. Do you understand? You're giving up the right to a trial, right to compel witnesses to test your behalf, confront and cross-examine your accusers. If you're not a citizen, there are possible immigration consequences. You can be deported, excluded from the country, denied naturalization under federal law. You give up the right to appeal. So once you accept this agreement, you are stuck with us until you complete it or unless it gets revoked. Mm -hmm. To be able to successfully complete this thing, you must do thinking for a change, a driver safety course, no drugs, alcohol, shh, random urinalysis, 10 hours of community service. Mr. Vital, how old are you, sir? What do you do for a living? Teach tennis. You tennis. teach tennis. Where do you teach tennis? I teach on Also at Audi International. Okay. What kind of money do you make a month? Obviously, like I work outside, so like rain, it's too cold, stuff like that. And who do you live with? I live with me and my dad. I live with my dad because he's older. Okay. Okay. You can um, reduce it. Yeah. Do you have a Texas driver license? Do you have liability insurance? Okay, all right, you're gonna maintain your Texas driver license and liability insurance while you're on this probation and prove it so that we know that you do have it. Um, Mr. Vital, you know, we like to reward people, so I'll make you a deal. If you do well, you do everything you're supposed to, and most, most importantly, you're nice to everybody, I'll take you off in half the time so you can be done with this thing in four and a half months if you really kick butt too well. And most of all, be nice. Thank you. Don't. If you want to race, there's places in Houston that you can go to. 59, 610, the tollway, that's not the right place. God forbid you do something guilty or not guilty. I will not find you guilty. I'll withhold it for nine months. Just make us proud, man. All right. Good luck. Chris, thank you. Thanks, man. It's just like Judge on this is uh you know you see that? Good morning. Good morning. How are it's you? Been a while. It's been a while. I'm taking a break. Oh, we like you, man. It's a little break, just probably until New Year. I'll come back and start come on. being active again. Geneva Yusida. Uh, we've been in front of you a few times. Page seven. Okay, what are we doing? So it's set, we were set to dispose of it today, but I'd like to reset it and get the TRAS done. Is she here? She's here. She's here. There are some conditions on a probation that I need to assist her with. Uh, she's got a few so-called HIPAA issues. Uh, this is 